I've always said that I don't think of myself as a mommy blogger, even though like a lot of you guys would be like, oh, well, I think of you as that. But like mommy vlogger, like family vlogger, things like that. I feel like I just never like identified with those terms. Like Aspen doesn't consider herself a mommy vlogger, but if you go look at her channel, if you look at some of her titles and thumbnails, I'm not quite sure that I agree with her. I don't think she ever showed her kids as much as some of the other family vloggers, but she definitely used her kids for content over the years. Check out some of these thumbnails. New toddler bed, six month baby update, a cute morning with the girl, taking babies to Europe, first birthday, update on kids. She definitely used her kids for content. She used them in the titles and the thumbnails. She knows exactly what she was doing to pull in views on her channel. But recently she has definitely changed up her content. She's completely removed her kids from her content 100%. So today we're gonna to watch the video where Aspen talks about removing her kids from social media and she finally, finally talks about their new home. Little chit chat car life update. So I know you guys miss the vlogs, which this isn't actually like a vlog, but this is what we are doing today, so. Mm, the smell. Is this like an ASMR eating video? I don't know why influencers think we want to watch them eat and drink their Starbucks coffee or tea. Riveting content here. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit until she gets to the point because it takes her a while to get to the point. I posted a TikTok a couple days ago because some of you guys were asking if I'm not really showing like the girls anymore online, which I have slowly kind of been doing, just showing them like less and less over the last little bit as time has gone on. Just like as they get older, I kind of wanted them to have more privacy, which I've like mentioned before, but I didn't have a certain like timeline or plan for exactly when to stop showing them. But I feel like where I showed them the most was on the vlogs because there's a lot of speculation out there about why Aspen is no longer showing her girls. Whatever the reason is, I think it's great that she's no longer showing them. Aspen's reason for not showing her kids is because she wants to give them privacy. I'm not going to cover the speculation that's currently out there about her kids, but a while ago, Aspen made content talking about how her family was digitally kidnapped. At that time, she was still posting her kids online. They're like kind of just in the background of whatever I'm doing. I feel like that's kind of been one of the reasons that I haven't really been filming as much because it's hard to like navigate that and figure out how to show my day without showing them. I feel like if it was like the back of them or something, that's different, but I just don't want to show like a lot of their faces as they're getting older. You often hear mommy vloggers complain like this and say, oh, it's so hard not to film my kids. It's so hard. It's so hard. I think it's laziness. If you want to make a video, you can film a video without your kids. Aspen has a nanny. Have the nanny watch the kids. I think they used to put up one video a week. She can film one video a week without her kids around. It is possible. It's totally possible. Even just kind of like things about them, like updates about them. I feel like there's been a lot of people lately that I've seen that are like not showing their kids at all. And I always think like, oh, that's definitely a good move. That's the best thing to do. That's the right thing to do. Then I'm like, okay, I also need to be doing that if I like think that that's the best thing to do. But even though it sounds kind of funny to be like, oh, it's hard to not show my kids. Like it is hard because I film what I do all the time and I'm with them all the time. My but you have a nanny, you have a husband. You and your husband work from home. In life, if you want to do something, you just do it. And she's not doing it because she doesn't want to do it. So she's just making excuses. My last video, I mentioned that I was going to be taking a social media break at some point this year. I don't know when that is. I thought I was going to take it sooner. And then I was like, no, that's something that I just want to like do this year. Like a goal of mine. She is so wishy-washy about taking a social media break. She said she was taking a break and then she came back with a sponsored post and said, no, I'm not taking a break. And I really think it's all about the sponsorships. If you say you're on a break, you're not going to get those sponsorships. And she does not want to pass up any of those sponsorships because she makes a lot of money off of sponsorships. But I don't know exactly when that will be. So I am kind of posting vlogs like less frequently now. Everyone keeps asking like, did you quit YouTube? I didn't quit. I just don't have anything to say. Um I've never heard a content creator say, I have nothing to say. That sounds so strange. Usually they're so chatty and Aspen is very chatty. She talked in this video for nine minutes. This is a nine minute video of her chatting away. Again, that's just another excuse. Um, especially like an actual vlog. Like I just, it's so hard to do that and not show 
my kids. I don't know. It's not. You just go to work and you have your nanny or your husband watch your kids. Your husband doesn't have a job outside of social media. I don't believe he does. Why can't he watch the kids so you can film a video? You can film a video in like 30 minutes. Influencers fake everything in their videos. So just fake everything real quick. You know, what I eat in the day. Go ahead and make your lunch, your dinner, (laughs) and your breakfast. Film it. Takes 30 minutes to an hour to film and bam, you're done. I think she's making this seem way too complicated than what it really is. The last two videos she made, she's basically been talking about how she has nothing to say, but she talks in the videos. All she's doing is talking in the videos. Um, I don't know when I will go back to like regularly scheduled vlogs. Usually we would post like once a week, but it just feels like a lot right now. And I'm still posting on like TikTok and I feel like no one is using Instagram stories right now. So I'll post on there like every couple days. And I've never been a person who like posts on my feed a ton. Like sometimes I'll post my TikToks to my feed, but I don't know who she's talking about. Everybody I know of uses Instagram and definitely Instagram stories. I need to see who she follows because who's not using Instagram? If you're not using Instagram and you're a creator, I think you're missing out. I'm still posting on like other places. I was thinking about posting on Snapchat because I feel like a lot of people have been talking about Snapchat lately. I just have to figure out my login and what my username is because I have no idea. But if you guys She's coming across as such a follower. She's like, oh, other people are posting on Snapchat, so I guess I need to do that. People stop showing their kids on YouTube, so I guess I need to do that. Let's use Snapchat, tell me, because I feel like a lot of my friends are using Snapchat now. It's also been over a month since I closed my clothing store. I love my clothing store, but it has been so nice to just, like, enjoy not doing that for a little So she did close it, because in the last video she made, she said... I'm pausing everything. I'm just taking a break. I'm taking a pause. I don't know if I'll come back, but she never said it's closed. I'm done. Everything that I do, like my brand deals or my posts or my like TikToks, my stories or whatever, I can do it on my own schedule. And I'm like only really depending on myself to get it done. But with Luca and Grace stuff, I was always trying to make sure that I was like very responsive to like the different employees we had. And so I would felt like I was just on my phone all the time, trying to make sure that like, if they sent me something that I needed to respond to or like make edits to something that I wasn't replying like two days later when I had a work day scheduled for myself. So it made me feel like I was just on my phone all the time. I don't know. I'm going to have to fast forward this. I can't listen to the excuses anymore. I mean, you're a content creator. Yeah, you're going to be on your phone a lot. <laughs> Is she really being serious? Oh, it's like a million different reasons why I wanted to like take a break from that. Point is, it's been really nice to just have like less work and be able to just spend more time with Parker and the girls. I'm dead. Okay, I think she just said it. She wants less work. Who doesn't want less work, right? All of these content creators are so entitled. They want to make the money, right? They want the fat paycheck, but they want to do as little work as possible, which, I mean, who doesn't want to do as little work as possible? So I get it. Makes any sense. I don't know. I don't even remember what anything that I just said. (laughs) Me neither. I just feel like she's whining so much in this video. I feel like content creators just want to be so lazy with their content, which is fine. If you only want to post once a month, post once a month, you know, do whatever you got to do. But to just get on YouTube and complain about, you know, how hard it is to post content and stuff like that. Like viewers just don't want to hear that. And lately, it seems like she's been doing it so much. Weird as I start to get older and have such different opinion on things than I had when I was younger. Like I remember thinking just when it comes to like sharing kids online, I was like, oh, what difference is it if like I share a picture of my kids and then Joe with like 200 followers shares a picture of their kids. Like it's the same thing because it's on the internet, but I don't know, I just feel so different now. And I feel like if I could go back in time, I definitely would have like shared a lot less. A lot of times creators make this decision out of fear. So I hope something didn't happen in their life in regards to social media and their kids to make her come to this decision. But like I said before, she seems like a little bit of a follower. And she's saying that other people that she watches have stopped showing their kids. So she feels like she should stop showing her kids as well. Whatever the reason is, I think it's great that she's not showing her kids anymore. I'm going to fast forward some of this because she just goes on and on and on about it. She's very chatty. You know, she says she has nothing to say, but she talks so much. But now she gives us an update on the house, their new build. 
what else a lot of you guys have been asking for updates on the house and i don't have an update now but i will have an update probably in the next video so i don't know when that will go up but probably like a couple of weeks yeah i feel like that's kind of all of my updates for now I just so aspen didn't really give us an update you know she's teasing you for the next video she's like in the next video i'll give you an update but the update is they're selling this house i told you guys this in the last video i made about aspen if you missed that i'll link it right here but this house is on the market and it's actually pending. So they have an offer and they've accepted it. This house is massive. It's so expensive. I'm not sure if they're selling the house because they can't afford it or, you know, it took them forever to build this house. And I know they had a lot of issues with it. Maybe they're just over it and want to move on. I don't know the reason, but it's definitely on the market with an offer. What do you think about Aspen taking her kids off social media? I'm so glad to hear this. I hope other people see her video and they're inspired by it and they want to follow her and do the same thing. I think it's great. If we stop watching this content, they will stop putting it out because they're going to put out the type of content that makes them the most money. If viewers stop watching family content, family vloggers will stop making family content and they'll stop using their kids for content because if they're not making money they won't do it we actually have more power than we think we have thank you so much for watching today see you tomorrow